Today, let's talk about multiple files in Vim. There are three pure ways, if you like, the tabs, the window splits, and the hidden files. I will show you how they work. And in reality, you will combine them in your own preferences. And in the end, I will tell you some jumping commands. So here, I have three files with very simple content. Uh, first, let's do the hidden buffers. So uh, I have an alias for my Vim. So if I open all of them, it's in the hidden buffer mode. So only the first one is displayed. The other two are hidden. You can see them if you do the ls command. If you want to uh, switch to the other files, you can do uh, b next, or you can do bn for short. Or uh, you can bind it to some key. For example, uh, I use uh, I use a plugin called Vim Unimpaired, which is quite popular. Two point seven uh, thousand stars. So he has a binding. Uh, let me just show you. So he has binding of for the B next, which is square bracket B. Also, for the previous one, it's uh, uh, left square bracket B. And also, he has the capital B bindings. OK. So if I do a square bracket B, it will cycle through them. And if I do capital B, it will go to either the first one or the last one. OK, so if you want to open a new one, you just do a colon E, say 4.md. Then you'll get a new one. And you can see now you have four buffers open. OK, that is the uh, hidden buffer way. So next, let me tell you the tab way. So I have defined an alias for uh, EP, which is basically v-p. And if you open all of them, you can see uh, it's very similar to the hidden buffer way. But uh, you will see the hidden ones uh, on the top. And if you want to cycle through them, you can do gt, gt. And it will uh, continue to the first one as well. And you can also do 1gt, which goes to the first one. Or some number gt, it will just go to the particular number. Also, by default, uh, there's only you can only open 10 tabs from the v-p command. So if you want to change that behavior, you can I think it's something called max tab. Tab. Yeah, you can change this line. Uh, that will control how many you can uh, open from from the command line. But when you are inside, you can open as many as you want, and you can do that by tab new. And you can continue to do tab new. And you can see all the tab commands here which allow you to go to the specific ones. OK, um, I actually have all some bindings for it. Uh, so my leader key is comma. And if I do leader n, it will create a new tab. And uh, if I do, uh, I also defined some numbers. So basically, if I do uh, comma, comma 1, it will go to the first one. Comma 2, it will go to the second one, etc. OK, that's the tab way. Uh, now let's go to the window way. The window way is, uh, uh, I also have some aliases. So uh, v-capital-o will open all the files vertically, in vertical splits, like this. But in reality, I don't really use more than uh, two windows. So we can open a closed one. Um, there is also a v-small o 
that will will that one will open the uh, files in horizontal splits. So there is one command O N or only this one will uh, close all the other uh, close all the other uh, files. But you can see they are not really close, they are just hidden. Okay, say we are here, we want to open new windows, you can do V split, which opens a vertical one, well, vertical split, or you can just do split, which will open up a, a horizontal split. Uh, and if you want to switch between them, you can do Ctrl W, Ctrl W, uh, do it twice, then you can switch with the window. In reality, I don't really use more than two, so it's, it's on, uh, there are keys. If you have more than two, there are keys to uh, go to a specific one, but uh, I don't really use more than two windows. So for me, Ctrl-W, Ctrl-W is enough, or you can do C, uh, Win CMD W, which also will go to the, uh, the next one. So I also have bindings for them. So yeah, so for the splits, co comma H or comma V to make the splits, and you can use comma W to jump between the windows. So here, I define uh, for each of them. I define a pair, one for the normal mode, one for the insert mode. So in both situations, I will be able to do the corresponding action. Okay, uh, I think that's it for the three modes. Now let me tell you about those jumping commands. So in order to do that, let's uh, um, to do that, let's open uh, all the files in hidden mode. Uh, so you can see they are opened in a specific way. And also let me open Uh, vim dot rc vim up my vim rc. So this is uh, vim actually keeps a history of the files you open. So uh, just like your browser. So in your browser you can go forward and backward, and in vim you can also go forward and backward. And backward is control O. So now we go to the uh, file number one. If you do control again, file number two. And if you do control again, it will keep going to the one you have visited before. And if you want to go forward, it will be control I, control I, control I, control I. And then there's no more. Uh, there's another m special mode is control six. That one will allow you to alternate between two files. So say I'm in vimrc, the next one is the win dot, uh, uh, MD. so I can do control 6. Now if I do control O, I will go to the 2.md, but if I do control 6 again, I will go back to vimrc. And if you keep doing control 6, it will jump between win.md and vimrc. Okay, finally, let me tell you, uh, Control O and uh, Control I are not specific for files, but the Control Six is specific for files. So for so for Control O and Control I, they are defined on top of the jump locations. Uh, so for the jump location, um, basically Vim keeps uh, a history of where your cursor have been. Uh, so they call it uh, jumps. For example, suppose right now I'm in the line 91, I can do L to go to the bottom of the screen. Now uh, both 104, line 104 and line 91 are in the jump list. So if I do control O, it will go back to line 91. If I do control I, it will go to line 104. Okay, that's all I want to talk about today. Hope you find something useful. If you want content like this, please uh, like and subscribe.
Thanks.